Hello everyone, how are you? Wish you a very happy new year 2022. As we talked about last year, which means three days back, I'm going to create a lot of interesting stuff on this channel. So the first one and the first video of this year is going to be about my interview experience with Turbo. This is an interesting company. So if you have not watched my last video with Tesco, that was again a very good interview with Tesco, but I'm not going to join that company, but let's see how it goes with Turbo. So the overall interview experience, I'm going to break it in, into two, four, sorry, four parts. One about the company profile, two about the selection process, three about this interview in detail. And the fourth one, the salary part, the most important, right? So stay tuned see this video until the last and I'm going to talk about a lot of interesting facts for sure. Okay, so when I am searching for Turbo on Google, I'm finding these many things on the images side. Definitely they have some word class office spaces and this is even like one of their initial interview or the screening process. I got to know like even their complete office staff is working. It will always be a uh, two foot distance as per the no COVID norms, they have enough space and they claim that they have office infrastructure as good as Google or Facebook. So these are some of the images that you can see. And this is definitely classic. And it is one of the one, one of it, it looks like a lounge, right? This is perfectly fine. I definitely impressed with their company infrastructure and the services and they also talked about that they have a policy within a month there there is a rest day which means all the employees that's definitely employee friendly company that all the employees need to take that mandatory off which is quite difficult in any service companies and some of the companies like uh, which which are too aggressive but turbo is definitely very good in terms of employee care let's look out for some company profiles this is the company profile that i found turbo was founded in 2014 its logistic platform and the kind of work that they were looking out of my role they just want uh, me to work on the back-end services it's a privately held company they have very few employees 243 employees most of their development work is driven through hyderabad office in india and latest deal amount is 8 million. I'm sure it is much more than that. And the, this company is definitely doing good. And it's mostly, this is the company website. It's primary offices in the United States and it works for US business in the logistics area. And then they talked about few of the turbo comparisons. Obviously, it will ask me to request a free trial on Pitchbook and then I need to create it. But overall, this company is really doing good. And why? The kind of offer, a salary negotiation that they were talking about, it was really amazing. And I'm going to talk about that at the end. Now, this is another one. It talks about the overview, how many jobs they have, some of the key stakeholders, but for a developer like us, and even if you look at here, it's to its market valuation is four thirty five million dollar, whereas total funding is ninety one point six. So obviously, it's more than hundred million funding, uh, which I believe because of several sources that I looked at. But this was more about the turbo overview, because at our age, obviously, you need to be a little more careful for selecting any company while you have established established career. So that's something you definitely look at you should go and watch their ratings on Glassdoor. you need to learn more about the company before you can go and join that second part of this how it started so my profile was registered in one of i believe nokia monster or maybe something else so someone called me and uh, I, i'm not open for any job at this moment but you know like when someone is calling you and talking about something interesting it always excites you to appear for that interview and same happened with me and uh, this guy called me up talked about the, your profile is shortlisted already and this is a pretty interesting company 
you should definitely go and look for it so i asked about the company name and believe me i did not hear about turbo prior to that let me know in the comment box if you know turbo earlier uh, this is the first time you're also listening about it it's pretty new 2014 okay so the next one what what about the hiring process they told it will be four step process first there should be a initial screening round where a person like uh, the senior management someone would have called you so same happened with me they called me up they talked about my profile my interest area and then they clearly mentioned it is definitely going to be high demanding job and you need to be very good at your programming skills so the next one is on turbo this is completely the interview process they started with introductory call obviously the preliminary discussions with happened on the sourcing company and they actually shared my profile with the person who did this first interview or the introductory call and this was someone at the hiring manager or recruiter to understand my profile and expectation really well and then the technical evaluation happened so this is i'm going to talk about today there is technical evaluation two and then the leadership interview and finally with turbo so the first one is it is for 90 minutes sound technical knowledge in one of the tech stack with good api experience and attitude speed quality and efficiency this was from the technical evaluation first and second one is more about design delegation and then problem solving and then the last one is leadership interview 45 minutes with senior vp and here that is all about this interview process they shared what is this role so this role was for associate software architect they talked about why us i already gave you a brief introduction and then the role they were talking about and this is more like the standard gd which they are talking about someone good at agile as dlc methodologies and good experience on software design troubleshooting and all those things and then they are talking about bachelor's or master's degree good experience on hibernate spring boot mysql mongodb and rest api which i already have then they talked about oops and object oriented analysis and design techniques and implementation so this is a day in day out thing for most of us and good data structure and algorithms knowledge along with some aws cloud experience and a strong database so this is must have good to have they talked about load balancing horizontal scalability and high availability kind of stuff then they are talking about good experience on the ui so i have experience on angular js not on react for sure and then good on json xml so that's something i've been doing so long and then they are talking about containers and serverless technologies yes i worked on that and then aws system functions and lambdas that i pretty much have good experience on so this was more around the selection process how to start it and for this particular one um where they are talking about technical evaluation on this 90 minute what they ask me so that's interesting i'm going to share the details what they asked me how did i solve this problem and then maybe you can also go and uh, try to do solve this problem your own so let me just first share what this is the problem that they gave me they talked about a bridge constraints where at a time a maximum of two people can cross during the night one cannot cross the bridge without a light so that's a precondition now during a night a group of seven people so they have named seven people like a b c d e or g came across this place and then they went they want to cross the bridge but they had only one torch among them the least time in which each person in the group can cross the bridge is as follows so a could take one minute b 75 c 50 d 150 e 100 f as 2 and g as 200 which means a is being the fastest one and g being the slowest one so the problem that they ask find the minimum time for the group to cross the bridge write a generic program which accepts any number of people and their time for crossing the bridge and returns the minimum time i told to the interviewer that yes since a is being the fastest one he will accompany the person so a will go with g 
and then a would return and then a and e would go and then a will return and then a with n. so this is kind of a pattern that i told him that this is going to work and since a is the fastest one definitely he can cross he, he can cross uh he can, he can accompany a person and he can return the fastest but do you agree that this is the fastest solution possible answer would be no and that's where this guy helped me and then he also asked me to thought it differently so the second option could be there can be a pattern first the fastest two would go which means a could accompany with f fastest should return so a should return and then a should and then the slowest should go slowest two should go which means f and g would go and then since f must already be here f will take the torch return it back and that's where you will see that overall throughput of this algorithm is much better than what i thought earlier okay, so if you can see my screen this is the exact one which i created and this is the exit program i could have done this a lot easier and more structured if i would have definitely given this as a project time but since it was interview and i had to do it really quick so these are the two classes that i've used person one is which talks about the name and time unit and then the cross bridge where i've used this class person and i've created other side of the bridge which means once these folks have crossed the bridge so that i'm storing in other side of the bridge whereas list of person total number of person at the start of this pro problem right so that's how i started with this program and i'm going to upload it in the git or uh, github as well so that you can also have the access and you can actually make this a little better program so if you see it is not clear clean written it's not with test cases but this is something what you could do in really quick so i've added all these persons here you could definitely make this a little better and then what i've done i've uh, sorted this list of person taught by unit which is the time unit here so all these persons will be sorted based on the time unit and then the next is these are the count just for understanding as i mentioned like one in one iteration it will be the slowest then fastest so that is to manage that i've uh, taken the count and then i have taken number of iterations to understand uh what should be the size and then uh, this algorithm should be definitely less than of that size so that's kind of a while loop i have written here and what i'm doing if the list of person means the person on first side of the bridge if that goes zero i need to break this program otherwise i need to run this while loop and then what i'm doing for even numbers right so count divided by two not equals to zero which means this is odd and this one is even for odd number of cases what i'm doing i'm using send fastest together method and then for the other one i'm using send slowest together so that number of iterations should be effective enough to get all seven people or all number of people crossed um as fast as it's possible then what i'm doing after sending fast i need to sort out both side of persons to identify who should be the quickest one and what i'm doing on this fastest let me show you so th these are the three methods on the fastest one i'm picking up the first person of list of person and since i'm sorting it most of the time so the zeroth one will always be the fastest here so and i need to took out the time as well so this is the time taken by the fastest person its unit and then other side of the bridge 
then what I'm doing, I'm taking first person and then adding from this list to the other side so that the person has crossed, right? And then I'm re removing that person from the first list. So these are the two lists between them. I'm actually um, based on the fastest one. I'm changing its location from one place to another place. And then the slowest one, if you look at, so this is from the last of this array list since it's already sorted. So which means the last one will be the slowest. And that is what I'm doing. I'm taking the last person from here, taking its time unit, and then I'm sending the slowest together. So list of person, remove slowest person from here, and then return fastest. Obviously, someone who's at it's the other side of the bridge at zeroth position will be the fastest. Right. So that is what I'm doing and then I'm breaking. So if you see the pattern, the fastest are sent together. And then out of that fastest list on the other side, one person will return. And then the second will go with the slowest one so that the combining these two is actually where the efficiency gain is possible. So when I'm running it, I, I have printed some of uh, the SOPs here for your benefit to understand what I'm talking about. I run it so here you can see this is the first attrition other side of the bridge F will remain there a will return and then the list of person will be a c b e d g and then the second attrition starts d and g would go together list of person will remain this and on the other side f d g would be there and then obviously since f is the fastest one it will return so that's where you will see A, C, B, E number of rotation on the post side and but A, F, C which means F return B, E, D, G reached on the other side. That is overall thing which is happening and that's where the efficiency of this program lies. I hope you should be able to understand what I have write, uh, written here in this program. This is a very simple logic and what I am going to do, I am just going to clean this up put it on github so that you can also look at it let me know what other ways are possible i know this is i'm knowing already that this is not the if you most efficient way of solving this problem but this was certainly which stuck to my mind at the time of interview so okay here comes the interesting part of this video what salary they are offering me and before actually I should talk about it, I should talk about some important factor. In this current era of attrition, the companies are giving salaries like crazy because they are desperate to cover their billing, their developments and there are a lot of initiatives which are going on. But as a developer, you, you should always be careful. What should be your price in the market? How long that company can give you the money that they are offering? That's more important. And you should not jeopardize in the basis of just looking for that immediate money. But for this company, definitely it's a product company. It's well funded. And I, I didn't ask about any figure as such. Um, the numbers that they were talking about, they mentioned that they have a budget of one crore rupees for this particular profile, which was which quite impressive for uh, my experience and uh, my current salary even so that's pretty interesting but uh, i'll keep you posted how it goes but um, overall means how i performed on this interview obviously i i was able to do this in um, given time but uh, the kind of quality of this code i'm even not happy so let's see like how i'm hearing back on this feedback and how along with this goes on but uh, whether I'll join this company or not, that's something I've not made up my mind yet. It's very difficult. It's not just because of uh, the money that can attract me for my next job. It's something more around the value, the location, kind of project, how good or sustainable that company is. So let me know about your feedback, about anything about uh, the anything about the solution that I presented you. If you have a good um, thought process around it, if you have good suggestions, overall, if you know about this company, just mention your experience in the comment section. And until then, thank you. Thank you so much for watching it. Stay connected.